It's the government's sneak attack on the common man's wallet. In an innocuous circular issued last month, the government changed the rules of the Employee Provident Fund in such a way that it wins and you lose. Essentially, it is another tax that the government has silently imposed on its citizens. Historically, most companies have been computing Provident Fund contributions against basic salary and dearness allowances only. But now, according to the new rules, various allowances like medical and conveyance, which are paid to employees, will have to be added back to the basic salary and Provident Fund contributions will be computed against this higher value. The news is a double whammy for the common man, considering that inflation is soaring and fuel prices are being continuously raised. So let's take a look at how the new structure will, will affect your salary. Suppose you earn a basic salary of 25,000 rupees and are also given a conveyance allowance of 5,000 rupees per month and a medical allowance of 3,000 rupees. Earlier, your company was computing your PF contribution against 25,000 rupees. Now it will compute it against 33,000 rupees, which is your basic pay as well as allowances added together. This will automatically translate into a lower take-home pay. What he's really doing is that he's taking people's money away, mm. putting it into provident fund and giving 8% return at a time when inflation is 10%. This is a, an underhand tax. It is not a very clever move in my view and it's not a very fair move. It's not just bad news for you and me. At a time when the economy is struggling, even companies will have a tough time because now they'll have to match employee salaries accordingly. Increasingly, there is a move to allow the private sector and provident fund, which raises questions about the underhand manner in which the government has brought about this change. Well, the government always seemed to have its hands in the common man's pocket, quietly stealing their money. It has already signaled for a rise in railway fares from March next year. LPG prices have uh, been raised from around 400 rupees per cylinder to over 900 rupees per cylinder now. Diesel prices have been raised by 5 rupees per litre and power tariffs have been raised at an average of 20% already. The UPA government has announced massive schemes like the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act and the right to education. And while they argue that these schemes are necessary, little is being done to plug the leaks in the system. And while they argue that these schemes are necessary, little is being done to plug the leaks in the system. And more hard-earned money is going into the hands of the corrupt. This underhand move by the government raises some big questions. Is the government quietly looting the public? Is this cheap money for the government to use and blow up? And is this a step towards allowing the private sector in Provident Fund? Bureau Report, NewsX.